Hello students. Today we are going to discuss a new chapter from our literature reader. Chapter 6 The Mystery of Language. Let's see what are we going to learn today. Learning objectives to appreciate and draw inspiration from the life of Helen Keller. to empathize with the challenges faced by those with special needs to understand how language is a lifeline a savior to connect emotionally with helen's story and journey the lesson mystery of language is a wonderful lesson which speak about the emotion of a person who is differently abled she became a legend and a visionary helen keller we can start our lesson with a quote by helen keller blindness separate us from things but deafness separate separate us from people this is a famous quote by helen keller so we are going to learn a small part of uh, a story which is taken from her biography called the story of my life let's see more about helen keller helen keller was an american educator advocate for the blind and deaf and co-founder of the aclu stricken by an illness At the age of two, Keller was left blind and deaf. Being in eighteen eighty seven, Keller's teacher Annie Sullivan helped her make tremendous progress with her ability to communicate, and Keller went on to college, graduating in nineteen not four. During her lifetime, she received many honors in recognition of her accomplishment. Annie succeeded in making Helen understand the mystery of language. Helen later learned to read not only English but also French, German, Latin and Greek. Do you know she was the first deaf blind person to attend a college and earn a bachelor of arts degree? Mystery of language taken from the story of my life. written by Helen Keller Helen Keller was born a healthy child in America in 1880 when she was less than 2 years old 19 months when she was 19 month she developed a severe illness which left her both deaf and blind she became stubborn and disobedient because she found it very hard to understand and explain anything to the people around her but on march 3 1887 three months before she turned 7 years old helen's life changed forever now let's see what was that a change that happened in Hel- uh, helen's life on the afternoon of the eventful day i guessed from my mother's sign and from the hurry to and fro in the house that something unusual was about to happen so i stood on the porch and waited the afternoon sun pierced the mass of honey circle that covered the porch and fell on my face my fingers lingered on the familiar leaves and blossom i did not know that the future held marvelous thing for me anger and bitterness had preyed upon me continually for weeks now a deep lunge had taken over in the first paragraph we can see that Uh, you know helen keller was both deaf and blind uh, in this extract this is extract from her autobiography she writes in the first paragraph she is writing about her childhood when uh, her teacher and suvilian come to her home as her teacher and change her attitude towards life 
on the day and was to arrive at her house ellen sensed an air of uh, something new strange from the way her mother was bursting um, like she is working very hard she could feel the warmth of the sun on her face and she stood on the porch and waited she had been frustrated at being unable to communicate with her family and now she was indifferent has she sent something coming towards her let's see what happened next have you ever been at the sea during a dense fog when it seemed as if a tangible darkness shut you in and you waited with beating heart for something to happen before my education began i was like a ship at sea only i was without a compass and had no way of knowing how near the harbor was light give me light was the wordless cry of my soul the light of love shone on me in the in that very hour i felt a approaching footstep i stretched out my hands as i thought it was my mother someone took it and i was caught and held close in the arms of my teacher she had come to reveal all things to me and more than anything else to love me so in this paragraph also she is describing her past how she felt before her teacher she compare herself into a ship um, that don't have without a which is traveling without a compass so she, um, that ship that don't know where the harbor is whether it is near or far so she um, compare herself into a ship and um, uh, she is introducing her teacher while she heard the footstep she thought that it was her mother she uh, stretched her hand and touched his mother um, but it, it is her teacher now let's see how the teacher changed her life the morning after my teacher came she led me into her room and gave me a doll when i had played with it a little while miss sullivan slowly spelled into my hand the word d o l l i was at once interested in this finger play and tried to imitate it when i finally succeeded in making the letters correctly i was flashed with childish pleasure and pride running to my mother i held up my hand and made the letter for doll i did not know that i was spelling a word or even that i words existed i was simply making my fingers go in monkey like imitation in the days that followed i learned to spell a great many words in this uncomprehending way pin hat cup and a few verbs like sit stand walk so on but my teacher had been with me several weeks before i understood that everything has a name the next day miss william her teacher gave helen a doll to play with and then she touched helen's hand with her finger in a certain pattern that spell d o l l helen was excited with the finger play but did not know she was spelling a word she was not yet aware of the concept of spelling she learned to spell many other nouns and verbs before she realized that everything and every action had a name one day while i was playing with my new doll miss william brought another doll put it into my lap and spelt d o l l she tried to make me understand 
that doll applied to both earlier in the day we had had a tussle over the words mug and water miss william had tried to impress it upon me that mug is mug and water is water but i continued to be confused by the two in despair she had dropped the subject for the time only to bring it up again at the first opportunity i began impatient at her repeated attempts and seizing the new doll i dashed it upon the floor i was delighted when i felt the fragment of the broken doll at my feet i felt neither sorrow nor regret i had not loved the doll in the still dark world in which i lived there was no strong feeling i felt my teacher sweep the fragment to one side and i had a sense of satisfaction that the cause of my discomfort was removed she brought me my hat and i knew i was going out into the warm sunshine this knowledge made me skip with pleasure but she was confused when her teacher spelled the same word doll while uh, making her touch both her new doll and a rag doll the teacher was trying to help her understand that doll was a common name for both the kinds of doll helen had a similar problem trying to understand that muck was different from the water in it she was angry with miss williams attempt to make her understand the difference she threw down her new doll in frustration and broke it she did not feel sad for breaking it or trembled for showing her temper she felt enclosed in a dark silent world and her response to the world outside were not deep when her teacher brought her hat helen was happy because she could make out that they were going out into the warm sunshine we walked down the path to the well house attracted by the fragments of honey circle with which it was covered someone was drawing water and my teacher placed my hand under the sprout has the cool stream gushed over one hand she spelled into the other world water first slowly then rapidly i stood still my whole attention fixed upon the motion of her fingers suddenly i felt as though i was starting to understand what the motion meant and somehow i understood the, uh, the mystery of language i knew then that water meant the wonderful cool thing that was flowing over my hand that word awakened my soul gave it hope and set it free there were barriers still it is true but barriers that could in time be swept away the strong smell of honey circle told her they were walking towards the pump house someone was drawing water and miss william made helen feel the water gushing on one hand from the spout even as she spelt w a t e r on the other at that moment helen felt that she had understood the mystery of language that it was a medium of communication her teacher was telling her that the thing flowing over her hand was water suddenly she felt connected with people 
and things around her. She had broken the barriers of her silent darkness. I left the well house eager to learn. Everything had a name and each name gave birth to a new thought. As we returned to the house, every object that I touched seemed to come to life. That was because I saw everything with the strange new sight that had come to me. On entering the door, I remembered the doll I had broken. I felt my way to the peas and I tried vainly to put them together. Then my eyes filled with tears. I realized what I had done and for the first time I felt regret and sorrow. I learned a great many new words that day. I do not remember what they all were. But I do know that mother, father, sister and teacher were among them. Words that were to make the world open for me. It would have been difficult to find a happier child than I as I lay in bed at the end of that day and thought over the joys it had brought me. For the first time, I longed for a new day to come. She was eager to learn the names of objects. For each object seemed to be telling her something more about itself. Her first reaction to this discovery was to try and put back together the doll she had broken. For the first time, she felt regret when she could not repair the doll. But she learned many other words, especially words of relationship like father, mother, sister and teacher. She was happy to connect with the world outside and for the first time was eager to face a new day. So dear students, that's all about our lesson. Mystery of Languages which is adapted from the story of my life written by Helen Keller. Thank you students. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.